because you're not using your star power, you are now denying my character fighting my character's main villain. You stupid fool, man. I hope and I pray this isn't true, man. But knowing, but seeing how The Rock is tweeting, the kinds of things he's saying, and just assuming what his character is like, it probably is true. So let me get this straight. So let me just do all the calculations. Shazam, sorry, Black Adam is the main villain of Shazam. I have grown up with Superman. Whether it's my my brother's telling me about Superman, reading my brother's Superman comics, watching the Superman films, Superman cartoons. I have never, ever, ever seen anything of Superman fighting Shazam. Never. It, it has it never happened. So it just shows the stupidity of what could be happening here if this is true. So the Shazam film, the first film was actually hit. It's probably been the best received DCEU film. Now... I haven't seen the sequel yet, so I can't comment. But that Shazam film, it's actually pretty good. And if you compare it to the to freaking Justice League, Batman v Superman, uh, Man of Steel, it's it is the best, and it's better than than all that trash. So, Dwayne Johnson, you now you're so sure Black Adam will be such a hit. You're so sure your performance will be such a hit that you feel that, nah, 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 Shazam, he's too small for me. He's too, too small, boy. Let me really partner up with Superman because we want to I want the, the biggest character in DC to go up against me. Karma is a B, man. Karma is a B. So in The Rock's arrogance, by him vetoing a cameo by, um, by Shazam in the Black Adam film, what has happened though is Black Adam came out. That film was a pile of garbage. Black Adam is one of the worst films I've seen in a, in a long time because it's it's bad in a way that's actually I it's it's actually insulting because it's like wait a minute, you can be bad in in 2022. This is bad like in 2002, 2003. Like it is the most derivative, zero dimensional piece of crap I've ever seen. Like it's 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 for me. I just I, I found it garbage. So that garbage um, film, a one note boring performance by The Rock, and then you feel that because you had that cameo, then the spawn people are like, oh my gosh, we're so excited, we're so excited here. Yeah. <laughs> Screwed up. And because I'm just reading the articles because they said that by him doing that, it sort of has messed up stuff with Shazam Fear of the Gods. Okay, let's play this again. Let's say that Shazam did cameo in that. We'd still be here. Which is, it would still need to be rebooted because Black Adam would still be a garbage film. So nobody would want to see a Black Adam versus Shazam because Black Adam was such a crap film. So I don't think him vetoing that's affected what is happening right now, which is everything being rebooted. But I just think that for The Rock, man, I mean, you're so, I mean, the arrogance of this man is crazy because you have to understand why, for me, it's so painful for me because, bro, The Rock was my guy. I bought his freaking autobiography. Very few people were a bigger fan of The Rock than myself when he was in wrestling. The guy was my guy. He was he was 100% my, my, my guy. And what I just think is the biggest crime and so forth is a guy who has... I don't think there's anybody who had more charisma than The Rock when he was a wrestler. How he was not able to bring that into any of his, of his films and how he is so boring <laughs> in his films. It, it, just, it, just, it just doesn't really... It, 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 it makes no, no sense. But I just think that, you know, um, what a foolish thing to do. Because as people have been saying online, you're Shazam's villain. That's what you are. You can't now come in and say, all right, no, 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 no. Because see, this is why I just feel that. Because I didn't understand when he was a movie star. You see, not everybody should be a movie star because not everybody deserves to have the movie star power. Tom Cruise deserves to be a movie star because Tom Cruise is a smart guy who knows how to make the right moves to deliver the best product. Hence why you now see Mission Impossible and you see Top Gun Maverick. So Tom Cruise deserves the powers 
that's come with being a movie star. Who, what does not, the guy that does not deserve to be a movie star is someone like, like The Rock because you clearly do not have the right movie intelligence to make the right movie moves because that is a, an incredibly stupid move to think that you are now the villain of Superman. Because again, remember, your audience, your bread and butter, your bread and butter audience are comic book fans. And any comic book fan will be like, wait a minute, we liked the first Shazam film. And we know that Shazam fights Black Adam. That's how it is. Superman doesn't... Superman is doomsday. Superman is Lex Luthor. Superman is Dark Seed. Superman has nothing to do with Black Adam. <laughs> so what the hell? Who... What gives you the right to rewrite the foundation and staples of comic book? For me, it's like, okay, Batman might as well fight Sabretooth. Huh? Oh, no, 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 but no, no, come on. I think, you know, Sabretooth and Batman should fight. No, 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 no. Batman doesn't fight Sabretooth, bro. Okay, that doesn't happen. Batman doesn't fight Sabretooth. Wolverine does not fight Venom. Okay, <laughs> okay I'm sorry. As cool as you want it to be because it'd be a great matchup, Wolverine does not fight Venom. That's not happening. Wolverine fights Sabretooth. Venom fights Spider-Man. Batman fights Two-Face or the Joker. These are their... That's the foundation. And as everyone has said... Shazam's main villain is Black Adam. That is his main villain. Because what makes it so crazy is Black Adam is arguably the worst film of the DCEU. It's, I'll probably say it probably is. You know, because as much as Justice League and Batman vs. Superman is bad, at least they have something. Black Adam was a pile of crap. And the funny thing, and the ironic thing was um, Shazam was the best of the DCEU. This is crazy. But as I said, like, look, I, because I want to watch, it's just that like I've just not had time, I've just been busy, but I definitely want to watch this Shazam Fear of the Gods. But see, I've got to be, I've got to be, I've got to keep it a stack. You see, I didn't watch Shazam in the theater. I watched it at home, like on, and when it, when it, when it came on to on the streaming. You see, for me, if your trailer doesn't get me hype, I am going to go out, spend the money, and then go and watch a film. Because, and from the trailers of the Shazam Fury of the Gods, okay, I liked your first film, but the trailer of the second film doesn't excite me. It doesn't make me interested. It doesn't hook me. It doesn't bring me in. It does not intrigue me. You know, I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm just not interested. So I'll eventually watch it. I'll probably watch it when it gets on the stream. Same thing with Shazam. But, I mean, I feel bad for Zachary Lever because I just thought that his performance in that first film, I thought Thor was really good. I just thought he got a really good handle off of the character. And I can actually understand why he'd be pissed off with The Rock. Because cause he already posted like the kind of um, story thing on his Instagram feed that The Rock pretty much screwed him over in stopping him from making a cameo in Black Adam. But if I'm Zach Lever, I'd be pissed off. Because I'm like, <laughs> whoa, I'm supposed to fight you, bro. <laughs> so because you're now using your star power, you are now denying my character fighting my character's main villain. You stupid fool, man. I mean, yeah, everyone's ugly, but I'm here with The Rock, you're, you're a freaking moron. You're a freaking moron. And I just think that it is full karma and full justice that Black Adam failed and The Rock just got kicked out of the, of the DCEU. And I think with these stories coming out, The Rock isn't coming anywhere near <laughs> this comic book stuff anytime soon, man. So yeah, man, it's my thoughts. Very, very good action film. I can't say great... I can't call it a classic, but not say a really, really, really good action film and a great start to what has already become an amazing franchise. And tomorrow, guys, join week two.